Hi there guys, what's going on? My name is Jelly Billy Joe, and today I'm back with another video for you guys. Now, this is more of a demonstration and explanation video about the mods that I use, as you can see by the title, in Rome 2 Total War. Um, I'll basically go through all the mods which I have enabled for my game, and then I'm going to simplify it down into the top 5 which I would recommend for you to uh, install or download from the Steam Workshop and uh, play with um, in your Rome 2 campaigns or even your custom battles because um, this is a really uh, diverse mix. Now one thing to note is when I do my top 5 I've picked one of every category. Now what I mean by that is I've, um, I have used one overhaul mod which is a mod that changes most aspects of the game and I've used uh, a unit pack, some mu a music mod. I've tried to give you guys a combination of the best mods I feel um, the roundup to give the best all-round uh, experience uh, instead of just giving you 50 million unit packs to put on uh, which are not always great they're not always um, fun to use because they can be unbalanced etc so finding the right unit pack uh, and finding the right mods generally to put on is quite an important uh, bit of Rome 2 a lot of people would argue that mods have saved Rome 2 from complete and utter failure compared to the DLC that's been released since and I'd probably agree with that, um, to be honest. Um, but without further ado, I'll go into the mods which I personally use. Now, I've opened up the launcher here. Now, I have a lot of mods which I've downloaded over the time, but I only use a few. Uh, I've trialled a lot, um, you know, things like that. But there's only been a really um, a few out of the, all the ones I've downloaded which I actually use. I do use quite a few um, because I feel they help, but I'll just go through them. So, all the mods I'm using so far on my Iceni campaign, which I plan to just stick with and use, is the Champ Lose Gold Unit Compilation. You can find this on the top rated all time uh, mods on the Steam Workshop. This adds a hell of a lot of units. In fact, I'll show you actually on the uh, Steam Workshop page just how many units this does add. Overall, you're looking at about 362 custom units in the game, and it is pretty awesome. Uh, and it pretty much it combines with everything, you know, there's no um, compatibility issues there and they're all pretty much custom units and there's no clones which is always good to see in a unit pack, a lot of time you do get a lot of clones, especially if they offer a, a, a lot of units uh, I've got Seleucid Roaster on there as well, now I don't play as a Seleucid as much and I really don't get to that porn of the globe so I can't comment too much on that at the moment but we'll soon find out in my Asini campaign when we make it a bit further on um, if we ever meet the Seleucids or that kind of area of the map we'll be able to see some of the units in there but I do play with that because there's no compatibility issues and really there's no harm in having a few extra units there for them as well I have got the Devoid et Impera mod on but I don't use that uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea, it's a 50-50 I turned it off personally in return for the Radius mod which I'll explain in a little while I have the Guaranteed Major Faction Empires now this is quite an important mod for me um, the mods in Rome Total War 2 um, do enhance the gameplay experience but the kind of core faction kind of design and layout for the original Rome 2 game was pretty broken you know large factions could be overtook by a small one uh, originally one settlement faction and there was just no realism to it at all uh, you know having the Roman Empire brought to its knees um, by say one of the northern tribes was just not really how it actually went unless we're talking about Gaul or Germanica or Germania um, which obviously we're not in this context uh, the next is Traits, Talents and Toadies uh, which is a character overhaul patch so basically what that does is adds a whole range of different bonuses and uh, cards such as traits that you can assign to your generals um, and just adds a hell of a lot more uh, a lot of people felt the original release of the game when it had the plus one zeal plus authority uh, and Cunning was a really limited, very simplified, very dumbed down compared to the old Total Wars uh, and this kind of helped to uh, bring it back a little bit there and offer a little bit more uh, depth to the traits and talents which you give your generals which is obviously very very uh, sought after in this game. Next I have the Maths Balkan unit pack again not a, not a place in the map which I get to too often but it's always good there, no compatibility issues to have so it's always good there to have as well uh, the next is improved tech group bonuses. Um, you can have that, you cannot. Um, it basically just improves the bonuses which you get from having certain um, buildings in the game. Uh, you'll find a lot of overhaul mods do do that anyway, uh, generally, but I, I like to have that on the side as well um, to change any of the default um, settlements that are left there. Um, because it's not just improved as in it gives you more, it, they're just more balanced and it makes sense um, instead. The Better Water 3 HD actually has a graphical mod, nothing fancy about that. Um, these are all mods I don't have on. 
I have the Dresden Sack Liberation Diplomatic Options. Now this was a big one for me originally because I felt that when you took a town and you had three options, so you had um, the Sack, uh, the Occupy, or just quite simply Loot, uh, was pretty limited, like very limited in fact, I think those were the three, I'm not sure it might not be, but they were very, very bad in my opinion, not a lot to do, you can't even trade cities on the game, which is very limited, and that helps a little bit to um, to really rectify that issue in the, in the Vanilla game. The graphics enhancement mod I keep on, um, obviously this is subject to performance of your PC, if your PC is not going to handle it, um, don't put it on because it is it, it can lower FPS by quite a bit in battles because the lighting effects obviously they're not as optimized as the original effects that their own two devs added in. Next remod is Total War Imperium that basically adds an SPQR faction that's basically the same thing uh, which resides in Rome um, so you got the Roman Republic and the SPQR I'll go into that in another video because that, I think that's a mod a video all its own for that mod it's a good mod. Uh, another unit pack for the uh, kind of nomadic tribes because when the cavalry tribes first came out I was a bit uh, WTF about the fact they had no infantry really at all and they were pretty shocking to play as to try and siege anywhere or do anything with. These are a lot of mods I have turned off. Quinn unit pack, just another unit pack there to add on. Some music, that's very important, that's one that I do use uh, a lot in my let's play um, and you know, you have probably already talked about that in my first episode actually. And last but not least, the Radius Total War mod. Now, I'll go into that as well a bit later. Um, and that's High Senior Rose, some unit packs. Uh, the ability to sell your slaves is a cool one as well. It's not really game changing, but you can sell your slaves, which is a cool option. Another unit pack there, and that's about it. That about rounds it up. So, what I'll do now is I'll round up all of the mods uh, I've used, I actually do use, sorry, and then I'll basically put five into, well, my top five, which I would recommend. Uh, combined together would uh, really enhance the game for you. And this isn't just a whole bunch of unit packs, this is a bunch of different mods which I believe combined together out of the mods I have on, uh, the five would really go well together and really make the game a lot more enjoyable for you. So the first one which I have decided that should go in my top five has got to be the Champlu Gold compilation, uh, 362 units, very well balanced, uh, awesome unit cards, you know, it's, it's really well done, um, and that's rare for a unit pack, you know, sometimes they could just be a whole load of units just moshed in there, uh, and there could be compatibility issues and all sorts, and graphical, and it's just, ugh, but that really works really well from now, or from what I've seen, so definitely recommend that. The guaranteed made of factions, uh, it's obviously going to enhance kind of what you can do in the game. If you're playing against Rome, you know that Rome's going to be a very powerful faction in the game. Well, it helps to do that anyway. A lot of them aren't guaranteed, but my experience with this one so far is that it's good and it works. So I would stick with that and I'd definitely recommend that to enhance it. Um, next is the traits, talents and toadies. Um, would recommend that as well. More options there and more in-depth for the uh, kind of general development of the game and your characters in the game, that's really important for a Total War game in my opinion and they missed out a lot so that mod helps to bring it back a little bit. Now the next mod which I'd say the fourth one is got to be the music mod or the R2TR Musica mod. This adds some original Rome Total War soundtracks which is awesome, brings back a lot of nostalgia for a lot of Ro uh, sorry, the Total War players in there. Uh, add some custom soundtracks as well which go really well with the game, really would recommend that. And last but not least is the Radius Total War mod. Now the Radius Total War mod is an overhaul mod so it enhances a whole range of things, adds a range of unit packs as well, uh, makes changes to the battle AI, just pretty much a whole range of things really that I can't go into in too much detail. Uh, but generally speaking, those are my five top five and the reason that they're not all unit packs and things like that guys is because I think the unit pack from the... Um, you know, the first one on the list was a unit pack and it has a lot of units in it. The second one was to help the game mechanics and core kind of factions of the game. Uh, to help the game be more realistic and factions feel more realistic. The third was to help character development, I thought that's important. The next is immersion, so that's the music. The music is so important in a game like this. And last but not least is our overhaul mod, so it touches and edits and tweaks a lot of good things in a whole range of different environments and adds a few units as well. So I thought those five combined are fantastic mods for you to have. I will post all the links in the description to the Steam Workshop pages um, for each of the top five mods for you uh, down in the description to this video. 
if so, if you have enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, and subscribe for more in the future. Any questions or any mods that you find decent or really good that you want to share with me, just link it down below and I'll be sure to check it out and give my review or opinion on it back in the comments. Or if I think it's worth it, I will do a whole video on it because I'm into mods. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.